he wants to, I want to, he want to absorb that chop, and this knee is going to come out, right? Yep. He's going to come out and put his weight in here and get weight on his back hip right here. All right. And we get weight on there. And he's, he's strong here. This is where my sit out comes. All right. So he's going to try and follow back behind. Kick. He's going to try and follow back behind. He's going to. Zara's going to hit his sit out. Boom. He's going to sit out here. Right. And this is where he's got to stay strong. Head up. Abs tight. And feet and the mat ready to go. All right. And then from here. You see when he when he sat back. Look. Like once again, he's sealing off. He doesn't want his hand to come in, all right? He's gonna attack the one one uh, hand on his waist, post it in the mat, and cut. Cut, all right, again. Again, when we get chopped, we don't wanna try and pull it. We absorb it, we sit back, and get to our setup. Boom, we stay tight at the ball, all right? So, all right. Two hands to one, it's two hands to one, post it in the mat, keep that tight, hip ice, cut the wood. Alright, guys, okay, so you gotta make sure when you're absorbing that, right, I gotta get it all the way over, come like this, so really, look at that flex stand, right? So then when you come over, I can get it to my setup. Alright, then I throw the chop up here, I'm a good athletic bottom uh, position. I'm not like, you know, over here on my hip, but I'm here, right? And then I'm absorbing it, hitting my step. All right, another thing is like, this knee's just coming through here. You're not going out of your way to like, force it. You're just coming here and you're using his momentum of coming behind to go with him. You're not forcing it to sit up. Hey guys, all of you guys should be comfortable.